Hi everybody. This video has been um, highly requested. I mean, I'm talking thousands, thousands of people have asked. Not true. Um, <laughs> people have asked um, about my sleeping habits and they are poor. Um, ever since I bought the new bed, um, I think I said that in a YouTube video or an Instagram video, I'm not sure, but I bought a new bed um, and it's been amazing, a dream come true. So the sleeping has improved, but I kind of wanted to show you the nightly routine of a grieving husband who can't sleep. It interests me because people are always like, what do you do at night if you don't sleep? Well, it is 11.05, 11.06, and I kind of want to show you what I do when I don't sleep. Um, and I'll start by tonight is an editing night. So I have a video to edit, so I'm gonna go do that. And then after that, it's on to the kitchen. Then it's into the living room. Not to hang out, not to cook, to clean, my friends. So I'm gonna start and show a little editing, then I'll show a little of the kitchen, living room, and then I'll show you what's next. If you can hear, in the background, No, not flowers licking. Um, the dryer. Uh, laundry is my biggest enemy. I am famous for washing a load, leaving it in the washer, and rewashing and rewashing and rewashing. Right, Huckle? All the time. And I need to remember to do it. And then I get it in the dryer. Right, Huckle? I get it in the dryer. And then I just fluff it and fluff it and fluff it and fluff it. I never take it out. So I need to take it out and fold it and put it away. So, nightly routine of a husband who's grieving, sad, lonely, and can't sleep. Start out by editing. So here's my um, workspace here. Sorry for the dirty screen. Notice how in this video that I'm editing, here, see that? I'm wearing the same thing I'm wearing now. Um, because I'm doing this all tonight. Editing a video, posted an Instagram video, and now filming this video that'll be uploaded probably tomorrow or the next day. Um, so yeah, so here's my setup. Uh, Jenny taught me everything in here. I wouldn't know how to do this if it wasn't for her. We use iMovie. Don't know if that's old fashioned or if it's up to date, but her and I both felt comfortable with this format, so this is the one we do. So I'm gonna edit a little bit and then show you my next step. So I am probably um, 75. 75% done with editing this current video, and I just heard my dryer go ding-a-ling-a-ling, ding-ding-ding-ding-ding. So, I'm gonna force myself to stop, get up, empty the dryer, onto the couch, fold the clothes, put them away. Normally I'd say, I'll go over there in a couple minutes after I'm done. Mm-mm, then it won't get done. Then the clothes get wrinkly. So, <clears throat> it's now 11.45. I've been editing for about 25, 30 minutes, and now we're taking our first break to go fold and put away laundry. Wanted to see if I could get this on film, and I will. Every time I put a fresh dryer load, this fine young thing always flops right on top of the warm load. Don't have to call her, don't have to say anything. She just comes right over and lays on the dry, warm clothes. So now Huckle has decided to say, well, me too. I like, I like warm clothes. I love warm clothes. Daddy, I love warm clothes. Huh. Good boy, good girl. Good boy, good girl. And now we're gonna fold these and put them away. And one would assume that as the pile shrinks, as I put stuff into piles, you know, the dog might get the hint and start to leave. Oh, not this one. 
she buries deeper. She goes deeper and gives me a look like, Dad, oh please, would you leave just some clothing? So I usually leave one piece of warm clothing for her. <laughs> Gosh. Look at these two. Gee whiz. Okay, it's now 12.05, as you can see. And we are back to editing. All right, I am done. The video is about 30 minutes, which is about average. Um, and the final part of editing any video is adding music, which many of you have complimented Jenny and I on the music. And I gotta thank my beautiful wife. I'll show you here. Anytime I wanna add music, she made me a little folder. And I just click on that folder here. It's called YouTube Songs. And these are all pre-picked by Jenny herself. So they're all special to me. And these are the ones she approved of. And she went through this with me before she passed. Pick any of these songs. They're fun, they're easy, they're easy to use, and there's no stress behind it. So she did this for me, and I just have to go through and pick which one I like. So thank you, babe. So I'm gonna add in the music and then upload this video. And it is... Twelve twenty-five. This is what I always do as I'm sitting here finishing <clears throat> editing and uploading. Um, I forgot to start a new load and switch the washer to the dryer. Which is why I never get any laundry done. So I'm gonna go do that now. So Jenny would always say, <clears throat> you need to have a rhyme and a reason, <clears throat> excuse me, to your laundry. And I always just grab. Don't even know what's going in the wash, it's just going in. And she'd say, then you don't know what you're washing. Like, you don't know if you're going to get anything good out of it. Very true. Because sometimes I look at what comes out and I'm like, I didn't need to wash that Christmas dress of Winnie's. Um, <clears throat> so I'm trying to be better about having a rhyme and a reason. Like Jenny would say, pick out an outfit that you want to wear. Do all the boy clothes. Do all the girl clothes. Do all the towels. I'm trying to do that. Now I'm outside, it's freezing. It sounds like it's raining, it's not. My neighbor's sprinkler is shooting off like 30 feet into the air. But it's 12.30, I can't go over there and tell them. So I'll probably have to let them know tomorrow. Like, hey, your sprinkler's broken. That's gonna be a heavy water bill. So I feel bad for that scenario. Um, but I usually, this is when I usually remember to check the mail. So I'm gonna take my long, long stroll in the middle of the night to the mailbox. It's not long, it's like five seconds away. But I love to pass this at night. There's some beautiful glowing things in Jenny's rock garden that light up at night that are super beautiful. And it's also a nice little garden update for you. How big it is and it is continuing to grow. Thank you all, we love you. It is now this time, 1.04 a.m. and we're in the kitchen. And I don't see too many dishes. So we're gonna knock these out really quick. I never put the dishes away, so I'm gonna get them out of here, put them away, there's a lot in there. And then load with just this little load. And then that's it for the kitchen. The kitchen's pretty clean because we went out to dinner tonight. We didn't cook, so that'll be nice. Uh, this is also when I catch up on music. Um, so I put my headphones on and I'll do the kitchen, the dishes, whatever. Um, and I'll play my playlist here and just let it roll. Sometimes I'll do my playlist, sometimes I do random playlist I let it play for me and I discover new music and add it to my playlist but that's what keeps me going some nights I'll do audio books but for the most part it's music that gets me motivated when it's late and I got stuff to do so music dishes put dishes away get out of the kitchen that's the goal 
So I had a mild panic. Uh, my garbage disposal was not turning on. So I've learned that if you get one of these and you put it at the bottom, sometimes you have to wind it. There's things jammed or stuck in there. Didn't feel anything, so I thought, well, I'll do the old fashioned unplug, plug back in. Boom, running like great. So panicked, but I fixed it. Jenny would be proud. <laughs> I am back outside into the cold night air. It is a beautiful night. It's just freezing. Um, I'm in the backyard now. I have realized that I've forgotten. I have forgotten. Not forgotten, but have not taken the trash cans in from the street. So our trash day is earlier in the week, and it's way later in the week now, and I still haven't brought them in. I don't want to be that neighbor. Typically, Jenny always reminded me, Hey, Kyle, trash cans. Oh, okay. And now that I don't have that, I forget to bring them in. So I'm going to go bring them in because I have trash to throw away. And I realize they're still on the dang street. So I'm going to go bring those in. We just had this cement put in in our backyard. This used to be like stone that Jenny and I did. Um, but she always said if we can ever afford it to put real cement in here. So I called my cement guy. He did an amazing job to level it with the little path that I had them make above her stone garden. So now it's so much easier to bring the trash cans in and out of our house and it just looks nicer. Now the fun part is programming my coffee for 6.45 so that at 6.45 this beautiful coffee machine will brew my coffee. And I don't have to do anything, and it's so nice to wake up to. So that's the time there, 1.35. This is the cup I'm planning on using tomorrow. Thank you very much. Which we're going there tomorrow, yeah. Uh, sometimes when I publish a video at 1.45 a.m., it'll suggest another video to watch. So, I did that. And that'll usually make me do this. In the middle of the night. But, uh, it's okay. It's part of the journey. Boy, do I miss my wife. Especially at this time. Middle of the night. I miss her very much. I miss her very much. Okay, well, you can't see that, but it's 3.50 a.m. We are now going on a ride. And then on these nights when I can't sleep, after working out or something to bring myself down. I usually like to take 10 minutes of almost like a meditation time. Um, my therapist calls it grounding. So putting on some spa music, a 10 minute timer, and just being one with your thoughts. Um, so I'm gonna do that now.
So I realized shortly after filming the grounding exercise, I got sleepy. <laughs> Which is something Jenny would always get on me for. We would try to meditate together and I would fall asleep <laughs> every single time. She'd have to tap me because I'd be snoring and she'd say, you're not doing it. I said, well, sleeping's kind of like meditating. She said, no. Um, so I got sleepy right after the grounding and fell asleep. Ended up falling asleep at around 4.30. 4.45 and getting up at 7. So that is not healthy. I don't condone this. These are just, there are certain nights in the week where this is my schedule and it's not something I like or want to do, but I can feel myself. I can't sleep. So I'm trying to do things that help me. So laundry, cleaning, um, working out, grounding, whatever it is. And then you gotta get up and, and do life. Um, it just so happens that that day I was so extremely tired, obviously, and then Winnie needed me. She got called out of school because she got hurt, as some of you saw on my Instagram, and I left work. So her and I had a daddy-daughter day, and then we went to Disneyland, and it was an okay day. So um, I don't think this is a good thing. I don't think it's a healthy thing. I don't think it's funny. I don't think it's light that I can't sleep, and I'm doing all this stuff, and I'm not getting enough sleep. It's just... I thought I would film because people have asked when you're up, what are you doing? And th those are the things. So, thanks for watching um, my night routine on the nights that I can't sleep. Bye guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for loving my family and appreciate all of you.